Hello and welcome to today's video. This is one I'm kind of excited about. I always love making these. Like there's no new products here, it's all pretty standard stuff. But what it is, is it's my EDC. My EDC, what I carry every day. Now, disclaimers, this isn't about knives or guns or survival stuff. This is my everyday carry EDC for what I need for work and for getting around in my life. The reason I'm sharing this is that there are a number of pens, stationary products, cases, keys, stuff like that. Let's get started. Where should I start? Let's start with paper. One notebook I carry is very, very simple. It's this. This is a Midori, standard Midori paper, A6 pocket notebook. This is lined. Why do I have this? Well, I firstly love Midori paper. So like, I'm gonna use it as much as I can for every purpose that I can. But one of the reasons I love uh, this particular notebook is that um, it's there's nothing to it. They're relatively affordable, great paper, and just super handy for writing lists, for writing, you know, it's the shopping lists, it's things like that. That fits nicely in my pocket. Um, this is a relatively new one, obviously, because it's not been banged up. It's been in my bag a couple of days and things like that. Just easy to carry. So Midori A6 pocket notebook, you see Midori there, MD paper, made in Japan. Beautiful paper. This is the standard paper. Uh, nice little bit of tooth to it. Super ink resistant, all of that sort of stuff. The next paper product actually is kind of um, well-rounded. It's not going to all fit on the frame, I don't think. It's slightly bigger than A5. It's the Thinker's Notebook. Now, why do I use this? Turn it around so you can see it all. Why do I use this? Well, this is, um, you know, standard dot grid and all of that sort of stuff. But it is it syncs with an app on your phone uh, so that when you, you scan, take a photo of the page with the app uh, and it reads your writing, you can then store it, you can, um, you know, share it, people can comment on it. And it like keeps the title in the header bar, it keeps page numbers, all of that sort of thing. And what that allows me to do is to use one notebook, one fairly lovely leather covered, you know, quite chunky notebook. Um, and I then can store and archive the notes according to project. Um, so, and then they're accessible on my phone, um, you know, and they're there, they're right there. And as I said, it reads the text. So what you can do is you can search the text you've written and find it. So if I'm looking for a note on a Fisher space pen, I'm just because that's sitting right here, uh, more about that in a second, uh, I can type in Fisher space pen and any document that includes that text in my handwriting will come up. So it's very cool. Thinker's notebook, relatively fountain pen friendly, fountain pen, fountain pen friendly enough, uh, but really nice with rollerball and things like that. Just great for note taking, lots of pages and uh, just got a great look and an amazing feel to it. Um, so I reviewed this recently and uh, yeah, I just think that it actually is a really great carry book. The final paper product today is also the first of my leather products. It is this. So this is the Galen Leather uh, A6 Notebook Slim Cover. Once again, something I've recently reviewed. And in this is my um, Hobonichi Techo. Um, so I, this is my daily planner. This is where, uh, you know, all my meetings and all that sort of stuff get listed. I've now started using a, um, a pencil in this simply because, uh, I, a lot of things are changing at the moment and if I'm writing in pen, then it starts to get a bit messy so I can erase. This is just a, a Daiso mechanical pencil with a two millimeter lead. Um, I like the fact that it's it's a 2B and it's sort of a thick lead and I can sharpen it relatively easy uh, and then just off I go. So Hobonichi Techo, A6, great Japanese paper, Toma River paper, in a really lovely leather case or cover from Galen Leather, made in Turkey, uh, in the Crazy Horse Brown Leather. Uh, you're about to see another Crazy Horse Brown Leather in just a second. Here is the next Crazy Horse Brown Leather. This is the Galen Leather, once again, love Galen Leather, three pen, th zippered three pen case. Um, as you can see, three pens uh, and a little card slot there, which is kind of handy, uh, but I don't really use that. I just use it for the three pens. This is slim, it is 
you know, can, it's small, so it fits nicely in bags. It doesn't take up a whole lot of real estate, but it's super secure and it protects the pens. Uh, what I have in here is a Ben Walsh Design Gravitas. This is the prototype uh, before the Kickstarter. Uh, then the Twisby Classic in a medium nib, and then a Faber-Castell Hexo Rollable Pen. So two fountain pens and a rollable. Um, not every situation allows for a fountain pen, so I choose a rollable, and I think the Hexo one is quite nice. So I'm going to do a quick writing sample with those, uh, or the fountain pens, and uh, you can see them in action. Regular Clairefontaine paper here, uh, and the Ben Walsh Design Gravitas, the prototype of the pen that went on to uh, uh, manufacture. Uh, this one has a Bok nib they went to manufacture with uh, Yovo, but this is the Ben Walsh Design. Gravitas with a bock extra fine nib. Um, the ink I'm using here is Diamine Smoke on the Water. Really cool ink and uh, get some really awesome sheen. Uh, but a nice pen, smooth, it's an extra fine, which I like, I like to have a couple of different nib options, uh, extra fine uh, being um, either go a couple of broad or a stub and a extra fine, or an extra fine alongside like a medium uh, nib for sort of everyday writing. And usually the nib that's not the medium has an interesting ink in it like this one. The next pen uh, is the Twisby Classic. Simple piston filled Twisby pen, uh, medium nib, just a pen that doesn't get anywhere near enough attention. This is with a medium nib. The ink in this is, once again, Diamine. Kensington. Blue. Just a beautiful blue ink. I love the colour of this ink. It's becoming a real big, big favourite. And I love this pen. It's super smooth, has a decent ink capacity, nice and wet, and uh, just a really, really great writer, like taking me you know, notes in meetings, things like that. As long as you've got good paper, this is a one to uh, one to have in the collection, in my opinion. And I should give a quick shout out to the Faber-Castell Hexo here, just because it, it is a lovely rollerball. Good solid black, and uh, you know, nice pen, nice in the hand, writes well, writes reliably, smoothly, what more could you really want? The next pen case I'm using today is another Galen, this is the student pen pencil case, leather pencil case, so it just has these two little brass um, buttons that you unclip, and this is what I standard carry in here, just a Faber-Castell sharpener eraser, um, a couple of pencils, one black wing volume 54 and then a Tombow Mono 2B which I put a uh, Blackwing eraser on. A big four colour ballpoint pen. If you're going to get a ballpoint pen something like this is super reliable, they're super affordable, four colours, handy, easy to use. First generation Apple Pencil for my iPad. The LEDs for the uh, the dies of mechanical pencil, a Faber-Castell text liner highlighter, and then a Pilot Varsity. Why the Pilot Varsity? Well, people ask to borrow a fountain pen or they'd like to try one. I don't necessarily want them to use my favourite pens, so I loaned them that. And that all sits in this really nice little simple leather uh, pencil case, and uh, once again, fits nicely in things. It's rugged, it's strong, it's protective, uh, and there it all is. In this, I mentioned the Apple Pencil. I should also state, say at this point, I do carry stuff for work that isn't paper and pen. Um, I use an iPad Pro, the 12.9 uh, inch one uh, for my sheet music and things like that. I'm an opera singer for those who aren't aware. Uh, so it's a really great way to follow scores and ca carry around a bunch of scores in a really small space. I also have a 13 inch uh, Mac Airbook computer that I carry around, uh, which is super reliable and also, the space grey looks kind of cool. So, also tech stuff, uh, but this is all the paper and pen related bits and pieces. Before I get on to what I carry in my pockets, um, I wanted to share one extra important part of my carry. This is my little pouch that goes from bag to bag. 
This carries those bits and pieces that you kind of need on you um, that you don't want to be like constantly changing pocket to pocket in your bag and things like that. So I can just simply grab this when I change bag, slot it into another bag, and away I go. And the sort of things I carry in here are things like glucose tablets. I'm diabetic, so I will always carry uh, insulin and things like that as well. Uh, but sometimes this is the sort of stuff you need. A phone charger, super important. In these times, a mask some Panadol, Band-Aids, and you know, general like, little converters and things for your cables. So a little case like this, it can be super handy. This is just a denim one. I can't even remember where I got this. Uh, it just makes things easier to transport from satchel to backpack or whatever the case may be, as you need the bits and pieces you need kind of on a daily basis. So now we get to what I carry in my pocket. And I'm gonna start with the pens I carry. One is a standard. This is my Ashton leather, as you can see there, Ashton leather pen sleeve. And in here at the moment, this is where I carry my everyday writer, which this week is the Estabrook Pocket JR. I've got this into a Dynamine Oxford Blue, which is my sort of standard uh, everyday carry pen uh, ink. Um, and that sits nicely in the pouch in my pocket. It's protected. It's uh, there whenever I need it. So let's just do a quick writing sample with that. So the pen that I have in my pocket, the Estabrook Pocket JR, I did a review of this. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with the fact that this is a pen that was um, designed to replicate one of the original, very popular Estabrook uh, pens. This is the version for the the new uh, company, if you will. Um, this has a Yovo nib on it, a number five Yovo nib, medium. Uh, just once again, a super nice, reliable uh, pen to write with. So we have the... Mr. Brook. Pocket JR with a medium nib. And the ink in this is Diamine. Oxford Blue. One of my absolute favourite inks. This pen doesn't write as wet with it as some of some of my other everyday writers. So we actually see a lot more of the blue, that sort of dusty blue grey, which I really quite like. Um, but it's a good pen. It does have the occasional hard start on super smooth paper, uh, but for everyday writing, I think this is actually pretty good. And it's a great looking pen. It's got nice material uh, and yeah, easy fit in the pocket. At this point, I should say I'm back working, which is great. Uh, and so I've been trying to slim my carry down. Less paper, uh, less stuff, but more accessible, uh, which is why things like the pen carry in my pocket or the, the pencil case and the little you know, drop kit, stuff like that, is worked its way into my collection, into my carry here, why I'm using a notebook for multiple purposes. Uh, all of those sorts of things. So slimming it down, getting it nice and light, because carrying it to and from work and touring and things like that can get really heavy. So I think that's a really important part of everyday carry is having what you need and having access to what you need, but not having sort of too much to carry. The second pen is the Fisher Space Pen, as I uh, suggested earlier. This is a relatively new edition, simple ball po ballpoint pen. My intention uh, for this is to have this either in my pocket or really accessible in an easy carry part of my bag, um, because it's a great refill, it writes on anything and like I said, like sometimes you just need a pen that isn't a fountain pen and to have something like this ready to go on hand is super handy. Now my wallet is a Bellroy simple wallet and uh, it's simple, clean. I've had it a couple of years and it's still looking great uh, and I just really like it. I like the colour and uh, Bellroy is a Melbourne based company, big international now and I think they do a great job. Another company that is Melbourne based and do an amazing job is Orbit Key. So this is my this is my key. It's my Orbit Key uh, key organizer. I have a couple of these quick release things for bits and pieces I put on there. Sometimes you know, like a I have a hook in my bag that I can like click that into to keep my key secure. And on this one, I have a little box cutter that I sometimes carry. Good space for you know your extra keys and then your multitude of sort of keys. And for me. The little tool so this has like you know little simple little spanner sets little screwdriver bottle opener box cutter that sort of stuff um once again by orbit key and this is a great little tool this is uh something i really enjoy it's crazy horse leather again i do like that sort of crazy horse leather how it gets worn and softens and all of that sort of stuff 
So Orbit Key, if you're not familiar, um, I'll drop a link down below to see where you can have a look at them. Check it out, really interesting little range of carry products. So that was the basics of my carry items. Um, these are my work carry, as I said. Work is going again, I'm touring um, quite a lot, so it's good to have um, a slim carry and not be carrying sort of too much in your bag all the time. Uh, slimming down from using paper scores to using an iPad, things like that, have been a really great uh, addition to my arsenal. Uh, and having products like the Hobonichi so it makes planning so easy. Great pen carry uh, and pencil cases. Everything is secure. Everything is strong and sturdy and protected, and uh, just really useful. And functionality is so important in my book, and I don't think you can get much more functional uh, than a lot of these products. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. You can get in touch with me using any of the links listed below. If you've got products uh, you'd like me to look at, let me know. Or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing items for review, like you know Galen Leather has uh, in a number of these products, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, let me know what you carry, and I'll talk to you soon.